Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, let's just wait one, one minute for the classmates. Okay, all right, very good. So everybody is working on the platform, yes? Yes. Are you finished with the test? Yes. Okay, yes. what about you, Carla? Are you finished with the test? Yes, I finished. Good. And uh, Andre, uh, Stephanie? No, Jeff. Okay, almost. And Michelle, are you finished with the test? Yes. Good. Vladimir, are you finished with the test? No, sir. Okay, almost. Kasi. And yes, Eric. almost. Okay, good. Eric, are you almost finished? Oh, you finished? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I am finished. Okay. Excellent. Very good. So I want to uh, continue working today on uh, do some more exercise about um, uh, going to and will. Um, also, I want to review a little bit with you, maybe give you some vocabulary, etc. Okay, so I have some worksheets that we're going to work on. Let me take you to the first one. Let's first let's watch a video, uh, a YouTube video. It's only three minutes to talk about um, the topic. Okay. Okay, oh, hold on, mute, okay. Will, going to. Express future actions decided at the moment of speaking. Immediate decisions. I will have salad and the fish. Express future plans decided before the moment of speaking prior plans. I am going to visit my aunt next Friday. Express a prediction based on personal opinions or experiences. Predictions without evidence. I think United will win the game. Express a prediction based on present evidence. Predictions with evidence. Look at those black clouds. It is going to rain. Okay, uh, I just want to point out, if you see here, uh, for will, sometimes we use it for immediate decisions. I tomé una decisión en el momento, all right? Like I was eating at a restaurant and somebody, uh, the waiter told me, what, what would you have to eat? 
and I looked at the menu and I said, I will have salad and fish. Inmediatamente tomé esa decisión. Okay. Uh, the other one going to, we talked about plans, something that you decided on. Okay. Eso lo vieron en la plataforma también. Now, uh, I want you to see something. For will, no evidence. Es una, un pronóstico, pero sin evidencia. Okay. For uh, uh, going to, evidence. Okay. Evidencia, no evidencia. Will, no evidence. Going to, evidence. Okay. For example, look at those black clouds. Eh? Puedo ver el cielo, está nublado, nubles, eh, nubes negras, black clouds, it's going to rain. Okay? Ahí está mi evidencia. Okay, continue. Express a future fact. The sun will rise tomorrow. Express something that is about to happen. Get back. The bomb is going to explode. Both will and going to can be used for making future predictions without having a real difference in meaning. I think it will be foggy tomorrow. I think it is going to be foggy tomorrow. Uh, okay, preguntas? Questions about the video? No? Okay, so we're going to use going to, okay? Uh, will and going to. We're going to work on this, uh, this worksheet here. Let me explain it to you just a little bit, uh, different uses. So questions one through 10, you're going to read. De luna al diez, you're going to read. Um, look at the question, uh, the sentence and determine what is it talking about what is it talking about for example is it a spontaneous decision esa la vimos en el video uh, when you want to offer help ofrecer ayuda i'll carry that for you when you want to make a promise don't worry i'll be there at eight o'clock when you want to make a threat, una amenaza, I will call the police. When you want to refuse, I won't listen to this. Rechazar, hacer un rechazo a algo. I won't listen to this. Predictions, right? Without evidence. Donde no hay evidencia. The Democrats will win the election. Uh, going to for previous plans, right? Algo que ya decidí, ya tengo un plan. I'm going to Paris next spring. When you have evidence, by the look of those clouds, I'm sure it's going to rain. Predictions, you are going to marry a rich person. Okay, very good. Questions. So let's work on this in this sheet here. Uh, questions one through ten. You have to determine will or going to, and then you have fill in the blank will and won't. You have to read the context, and then choose the correct answer. Okay. So let me send you this one. Trabajemos en esta. Uh, let me take attendance right now.
Okay, let's go to groups right now. I'm going to send you the worksheet. Okay, you guys ready? Did you find the worksheet? Yes. Eh, ¿Alguien quiere compartir? ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien quiere compartir su pantalla para que todos vean? Si pueden. ¿Alguien tiene compu? ¿Mm? Yo tengo compu, pero tengo que abrir mi WhatsApp. Ah, ok. Pero te puedo, creo que aquí te puedo mandar el link. Aquí por Zoom. Ok. Let me see. Ok. Check. En Zoom. Okay, please take again. Ah, perfect. Okay, very good. So, uh, Stephanie, Michelle, Andrea, uh, you can work together on this worksheet. Okay, you can take turns. Maybe one person can read one at a time. I guess I will. Number, Number six. six. Hello. Going to. We going to have a great winter this year. Teacher. Uh huh. And the and the first one. This is based on the fighting. A scientist say we are going to have a bad winter this year. Is correct. Yes, because we have evidence there, right? Uh -huh. but, evidence. We have, we can, but we can say we are, right? Uh, we oh, are see. going to. Yeah, you can say we are. We are. Oh, 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 it's correct to say we're going. we're going to have. No, we are. You have to use All the right. word to be. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we did right, Carla. Mm -hmm. Two. Yes. Uh, okay, number two. The driver will be will will help you with the box with your box. Your box. Yes. This will. Why? Two is will um the driver will help you with your bags. Huh? It's will, right? Wheel? It's it's correct. Uh, will is correct, pero por qué? Because if you look there in in the mm -hmm. will, it says to offer help okay. when you, you're going to offer something. Okay. Yes. Number three. That dog by you if you teach it. Teach it. Ah, uh, will? Uh, I think so. Will going to? Sorry. I think it's going to. Uh huh. It's a prediction, right? 
Uh huh. Prediction, and maybe you can see evidence because you're seeing maybe something. The dog is angry. Mm -hmm. the, the dog is like you. My sister study at Harvard next year. Will, right? Yes. Huh? Will. Will. Why? Uh, because it's um red um quiero ver la prediction no yes a prediction because it's in next year it's a prediction but it can be a uh, it's going to be going going to Will it's be. going to Will. it's going to study at Harvard next year. It's a prediction with a. Uh, some Maybe wait, remember previous plan. It's a uh -huh. plan. Yes. It's going to right. Mm -hmm. I think so because it's a previous plan. Uh -huh. It's already said. Uh -huh. it's going to is correct. Yes, I think it's correct because. It's uh, like a plan, something that the person planned it. Mm -hmm. mm, previous plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess. the number one was a will or, or going to remember? Um, Will. Will. Our will, right? My friend, celebrity, Chris, not at home. Are going or will? Are going. Are going. Are going. I will. I'm going. It's going. But I will. Am. I am going to answer it. Cuando hablaba de eh, Will, hablaba de cuando tomabas una decisión en el momento. Mm, bueno, true. <laughs> Por eso pienso que esa, pero no sé ustedes. Yeah, I, th I think it's Will. I think bueno, you're correct. Uh -huh. Okay. I think you're correct. It's Will. Going, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Okay. Ahora pasamos a la segunda parte. ¿Qué es esa palabra? Rare o medium? Eh, R A R E. Raro. <laughs> it, um, no, medium. It's, it's like um, when you cook, when you're cooking, and you like you don't you want it between real cooked or not so cooked. You're talking about meat. Ah, oh, okay. I will have. Yo quisiera tener el Will o want? Will. Lo creería. Will. Tú piensas que want. Ajá. Uh -huh. no I want have. Yo no quiero tener eh, la carne como. Medio sí. cocida. Sí, medio cocida. You will pass if you don't die. No. I just want. Number one, want. Number one will. is will because you're, uh -huh. you're telling the person, I will have a steak, medium rare, please, mm -hmm. is, is you're ordering something. Okay. Aquí se sería want, ¿verdad? Mm, you... Blank 
pass if you don't yes, study. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's saying it's if one, you two, don't two, study. Two, two. One. Want. Get up. I don't know. Will. Will. Okay. Yes. Um, it's sunny. You will. It will. Want. 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 Porque te está diciendo que está soleado. No van a Sí, but I'll call it. <coughs> I think you Yankees Yankees is a baseball thing. Mm -hmm. Beat the Sox. Uh, will I think as you pienso. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yo no, yo lo, yo lo olvidaré. Yo lo voy a estar olvidando. Mm, I don't know. No te preocupes. Sería lo, yo lo olvidaré, ¿verdad? Sería. I am yes, going, but it's a... Negativo. It's will. Won, won, won. One day I will be rich. Mm, will is a probably one number one are you day. number five? Uh no. One no. number number six far three six is going to mm. is going to look at uh, the going to charge the prediction you are going to marry a rich person but but will is probably in uh, going to is si una probabilidad yo pienso que es will predictions prediction both i think that the both are predictions the only thing that uh, is going to is predictions with evidence okay but honestly uh, honestly i see hablando normal english la dos entienden perfectamente in, okay in, mm -hmm. okay in this case both are correct mm -hmm. bueno no, no no estoy diciendo eso porque la hoja le va a pedir una pero lo que te quiero decir es que eh, Predictions can be will or going to, but going to is when you have evidence. Um, but evidence. In, sp in spoken English, ¿vale? yo estoy hablando con mi amigo English, las dos entienden perfectamente. Entonces, ¿podés okay. elegir C? Maybe C. Number seven. We. Number seven. Mm -hmm. We have dinner with the Smiths tomorrow. Is that a plan? It, yes, it's a yes. plan. Mm -hmm. are, are going. It's, are going to. Mm -hmm. Number mm -hmm. eight. We are going to have a dinner with the Smiths tomorrow. Yes, correct. Perfect. This invent. Invention will be Church. changed the world. Okay. Eh, ya le di corrección. Hello. Hola. Le di corrección a mi test y me aparece siete de, nota siete en la parte número. Siete de la parte uno dice, she hates vegetables. She is going to eat the salad. The salad. ¿Por qué está mala si, si eso es lo que va a comer? No, pero es que no está diciendo que eso va a comer. Está diciendo que no le gusta. She hates. Mm -hmm. 
vegetables. Hate. Hate is odiar. Hay una probabilidad que vaya a comer ensalada, ¿verdad? No, es que la palabra hate allí es odiar. Es, odiar. es como repudiar. Odiar, no le gusta. No le gusta. Entonces, como no le gusta vegetales, no va a comer la ensalada. Okay, very good. We're back. If you want, you can check. So, si no han revisado todavía, si the link finished, and you can check to see what you have, right? To see if you got everything, most most of those correct. Uh, do you have any questions about that exercise? Preguntas sobre ese ejercicio? Yes. Sí, no. Estamos bien. Okay. Estamos bien. Su silencio habla. Okay, let's go to the next. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay, uh, next exercise I want to do with you. Let me share my computer. Okay, is future with will and going to. Okay, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Okay, so here you have. Si ustedes ven el uso de will and going to is. Uh, Hay bastantes eh, posibilidades, ¿verdad? Bastantes diferentes eh, situaciones donde lo puedo usar. Eh, for example, here. Instant decisions. Right? Maybe in the moment. Right? Algo que no planeaste. Eh, someone calls you and you say, uh, tell them I will call him later because it's instant decision. Something that, ¿verdad? No estabas esperando esa llamada, cayó la llamada. Uh, tell him that I'm busy, I will call him later. Or you can make plans. Today, I'm going to call the office, okay? Plans, all right? So let's read number one. Uh, Michelle, can you read number one? I'm bored. I think I'll go to the park. Is this an instant decision or plan? Plan. Uh, you think so? Plans usually have, what do we use for plans? Remember? Uh, no, going to. I, it's going a, to. It's a decision. Instant decision, right? Instant decision. Very good. Okay, number two, uh, Eric. I am going to organize a party for next Saturday. Instant decision or plan? Plan. Plan. Very good. Okay, uh, Stephanie, number three. We are going to have uh, the final exam the next week. Instant decision or plan? Mm. Algo planeado, organizado, o algo que surgió en el momento? Planeado. Yes, plan. Very good. Uh, let's see. Andrea, number four. I'm thirsty. I think I'll take a big glass of water. It's an instant decision. Yes, I think so. Very good. Carla, number five. Oh, you don't have many to buy this. I lend you some. Instant decision. Yes. Uh huh. Number six, Sarah. Vandermeer, uh, number six. Oh, you don't have uh, money to buy this. I lend 
your son. No, no sorry, sorry. Six. Number mm -hmm. six. It's Nam's birthday next week. I'm going to buy her a lovely present. A plan. Plan. Very good. Okay, Sara, no sé si estás ahí. Are you there? If you're there, you can read number seven. Sí, yes. Okay. There's a text next week, so I'm going to start studying. It's planned. Planned, very good. And number eight, uh, go back to the beginning. Stephanie, number eight. It's very cool in her. I don't, it's very cool in her. Don't worry. I wish close the window. I will close the window. Is this something planned or instant decision? Instant decision. Very good. Okay, let's go to the next section. It says, choose the correct option. I want to visit Portugal next year, so I have decided that I am going to or I will learn Portuguese soon. I will. I will. Going to. Here I'm we going have to. decision. So, which one is it? Going, I'm going to. to. Yes, going to. Decision, right? It's something planned. It's something that you decided on. Number two, there's nothing interesting to do here. So, I think I'm going to watch TV or I think I'll watch TV. I will. I'll. I'll. I think so too. Very good. My friends and I have planned our holiday. We are going to, or, or we would we would travel to the Caribbean. We're going to. Going to. I haven't seen Zusi for a long time. I think I'm going to phone her, or I will phone her. I will. I will. Puede ser cualquiera de las dos. Honestly. Um, Okay, let's see, I will. Let's use I will. Mm -hmm. Number five, what can I do for Jane to be happy? I know I'm going to, or I will take her to the cinema. I'll. Mm, okay, what I said, what I said, I'll. Maybe it's something that you instant decision, tal vez en el momento, right? Because you're asking the question and then you're answering the question in the moment. Okay, will or going to? I must run to the station or I will blank the train. I will miss the train. Going. Going. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Where am I going to? Oh, verb to be. Um. Yes. I'm going to miss the train, I think. Number two, look at the sky. It is black. It's Start raining soon. It seems it's going. This is going to. It's going to. Okay. No estoy usando contracción. No sé si eso sería un problema, pero ahí vamos a ver. Number three. I haven't got my phone. I blank lend you mine. Will. I, I will. I will. I will lend you mine. I can get you a punto. I haven't got my phone. They, that, ahí termina la conversación. I will lend you mine. I promise I will or I'm going to bring you a souvenir from Paris. Will. 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 Uh, do you remember the other exercise? Uh, ¿Dónde está el otro que hicimos? This one. It talked about promise. Promesa, promise. Okay, so we're going to use here, will. Five, my sister blank will, or I'm going to. Is going, going to. Going to. Is, is going to. Going to be 16 years old next year. Okay, very good. Number six, we will, or going to move to a new We are house. going to. We're going to. We're going to. 
we're going to move to a new house in a couple of days. So this is something that they're planning, right? Number seven, Mark is on his way to the supermarket. I. I. I will, right? Yes. I will buy milk. Okay, let's check. So he will. Because it's something in the moment, right? Let me see. All right, let's check this one. I must run to the station or I'm going to miss the train. Okay, I will. I will. Mark is on his way to the supermarket. He's going to buy me. Ah, okay, no, no la leímos bien because it's Mark, the subject. Okay, all right, no problem. Maybe you can say it's a plan. All right, so I hope that you learn the difference, right? En algunos casos, honestly, like speaking to a person, la diferencia no es tan marcada. I mean, when you're having a conversation, formal conversation, okay? All right, let me show you something that we can do using will. We can make a, a condition and a result. So the condition that we're going to use uh, let, let me see. I have a, a, a page. Uh, give me a second. I want to show you something that we can do. Ah, ¿se acuerdan de lo que estábamos haciendo anteriormente eh, con, con los verb tenses? Ok. Sí, ah, allí quisiera yo que lo termináramos, profe. Pero eso lo terminamos. La tarea, era que usted, que, que, la tarea era que ustedes trabajaran en él y me lo mandaran. Sí, yo lo trabajé, pero tengo dudas. Porque no me salen los doce. Es que no, no, ustedes no han aprendido los doce todavía. Ustedes son intermedios. Le dije que solamente hay seis. Usted se, usted se, usted se está adelantando un año. Ah, por ejemplo. Eso no lo han aprendido todavía. No, no, aquí no está en la plataforma. Ok, look, let me just show you something. Look. Eh, si ven aquí, ustedes, solo para aclarar aquí, ok. Ustedes no han visto todo esto, ¿ok? Y, y, y está bien. Solamente quiero que vean el simple y el continuous. Eso sí los han visto, ¿ok? Bueno. So, okay. look. Simple past, simple present, simple future. Three. Eh, past continuous, present continuous, future continuous. ¿Cuántos son? Son seis. Okay. Sí. The perfect and the perfect continuous no lo han visto. No lo han visto. Eh, porque es de tema de avanzado. Okay, so look. Present continuous is uh, simple. If you look here, for example, aquí hay una línea. Esta, ¿Ven esta linita aquí? Yes. Eso representa el presente. In the simple past, you have actions that are in the past. Aquí está la acción del simple past. Okay? Simple present. La acción está sobre la línea. La línea del presente. And future. The action is in the future. Okay? Pregunta ahí. Okay? Solo para que ustedes vean por qué se usan las diferencias. Okay, now. Now, the... Past continuous, if you look here, es una acción que comenzó antes de la línea del presente, porque aquí está la línea del presente. Está antes, pero continúa. Por eso está así como una curvita. Continuous, continuous, continuous. Do you see? It's an action that started in the past and continued in the past. Okay? Example, I was playing, I was playing baseball, okay? Now, 
Eh, do you know when I finish? ¿Saben ustedes cuándo termine de jugar? No, ¿verdad? No está en la oración. I was playing. No saben cuándo dejé de jugar. ¿A qué horas? No dice. So, por eso es algo que comenzó en el pasado. Continuó, continuó, continuó en el pasado. Okay. I was playing. And then, present. Eh, present continuous. Está sobre la línea del tiempo. It's something that continues, continue, for example, y continúa hasta el momento. I am playing baseball. I am teaching English. I am listening to the class. And future, dijimos que podemos usar cuáles. Here you can use will, okay? But future continuous, you can use will be plus ing or El que estamos usando ahorita, going to. Ok. Preguntas? Questions? Ok. So, si, ¿cuál es la diferencia entonces entre el, el past continuous y el simple past? Do you see the action? The difference? Esta solamente estoy diciendo que pasó algo. Here, pasó algo, pero continuó. Do you see the difference? Yes, okay. teacher. All right, very good. So, it's just something for you to see, right? ¿Por qué se usan estos? So, yes, we have 12 verb tenses in English, but eh, ahorita si ustedes se pueden los seis, perfecto. Van, van muy bien. Let me just, uh, I need to get a picture. Hold on. Let me just get a picture. I want to do something. Okay. I'm going to show you something. Otro uso de will. Eh, muy importante. Por eso will se usa bastante. Por, eh, creo que por eso lo dejaron en esta sección solo al final. Para que pasáramos más tiempo acá. Um, conditional. Okay. I want to show you this conditional, right? Um, in English, uh, there's four conditionals, right? Pero empieza desde cero. Zero, first, second, third. Okay. Eh, vamos a hacer una actividad con este. Okay. Eh, y ya que estoy aquí, les voy a enseñar el zero conditional. Okay. No les voy a enseñar el resto porque es avanzado. Pero eh, yo les puedo pasar este cuadrito aquí, si quieren, pero no es el tema que, que les toca, ¿ok? No me quiero salir del tema. Um, zero conditional. For example, we use it when you're going to talk about facts, things that are true. For example, if you look here in this sentence, if you stand in the rain, ¿qué pasa? Si te paras en la lluvia, what happens? Sentido común me dice... You, you get wet. Uh -huh. Te vas a you mojar, wet. right? You get wet. If you, you stand wet. in the rain, you get wet. Okay? Another example. If you heat ice. ¿Qué pasa? Si caliento el hielo, sentido común, it melts. So it, it melts. It so melts. So this is, this is used for things that are true. Cosas que son verdad. Or hechos científicos. Scientific facts. Okay? So this is called a zero conditional. ¿Por qué se llama zero conditional? Porque simple present, simple present. No hay ningún cambio. All right. So I want to focus on the one that I want to do is the first conditional. So hagamos una actividad con el first conditional. Ya le voy a decir lo que vamos a hacer. So here I use will. Look, if it rains... Aquí está mi condición. If it rains, ¿qué pasa? Will. Will. We will cancel the trip. Do you see? So I use simple present, if it rains, and I use will or won't. 
What is this used for? El uso? To talk about possible situations. Possible situations in the future. Okay. So, para que lo uso? Possible situations. Or, I can also use it for predictions. Bastante similar con lo que estábamos haciendo. Predicting. Likely results of the future. Es decir, algo que probablemente va a pasar. Okay. For example, if you study, you will pass the exam. Okay. Very good. So, let's do an activity. Ready? And we're going to practice with this. Eh, voy a hacer, simplemente voy a hacer un recorte here so that we can use this here. Quiero hacer un recorte. Okay, let's use this one. Okay. Um, we're going to start here with, with Andrea. Okay. Bueno, yo voy a iniciar y después va Andrea, y después Sara, Valdemir, y después lo voy llamando. Okay. So we're, we're going to play a game. Vamos a hacer un círculo with using this condition. For example, Andrea, yo voy a empezar. If, let me, lo voy a hacer más grande también. Okay. If, um, if I study English, I will get a, I will get a better job. Okay. Now, Andrea, tú vas a ahora empezar con la última frase con, con la cual yo terminé. So, Andrea. Okay. Con, con Java. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. If I okay. get if I have, if I get a better job, job. Now you finish. Um, you have to use will, ¿verdad? Porque en la segunda yeah. parte usamos yeah. will. I will travel, travel more. I will travel more. Okay, very good. Eh, después va, creo que Sara dije, voy a tomar la segunda parte, como terminó Andrea. If I travel, tengo que quitarle will. If I travel more, I will. Sara. I will visit my parents. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. And then Valdemir. Uh, if, tengo que usar if I visit my parents, I will. ¿Qué pasaría? I will. I will eat uh, delicious food. Very good. Very good, okay. And let's see. ¿Quién va después de Vandermeer? Eric. If I eat delicious food, what happens? I will be fat. <laughs> oh, be fat. Very good. Good, good job. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, the put Eric, Stephanie. If I am fat, <laughs> Stephanie? I will. Mm. Make exercise. I do. Vamos a do. I, I will do. do exercises. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Uh, Carla, if I do exercise, quiero usar 
Quiero ponerlo en plural, right? Exercises, ahí está. I will. Um, if I do exercises, I will. Delgadas, se me olvidó ahorita la palabra. I will be. I will fit. Mm. Puedes decir fit or thin. Fit. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. And then let's see. Ya terminamos. Después, después de Carla, let's go back to. Uh, let's go back to. Sara. If I am fit, I will have more boyfriend. <laughs> more boyfriend. <laughs> Very good. All right, there you go. See, we finished, okay? So, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Estamos usando el conditional, okay? Uh, we're using, we're making a, a prediction, right? We use simple present, and then we use will or won't. ¿Verdad? Nadie usó won't, pero it's okay, all right? What do we use this for? Possible situations. Possible situations. Okay, so let's do an activity quickly. Okay, let's go to groups, small groups. Así como estamos. Uh, let me see. And then, okay, now I want you to do this. Eh, tú vas a decir una frase y después así como hicimos, ¿verdad? La otra persona va a tomar la mitad de esa frase y va, va a decir will. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Yes. Eh, we only have maybe 10 minutes, okay? Okay, let's go to groups. Stephanie. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, uh, who's going to start? Maybe you can say, um, if I, let's see, to change it, right? To change it. If I, if I have a lot of money, I will. Buy more clothes. Okay. Very good. If I have a lot of money, I will buy more more clothes. Okay, now. If I buy a lot of clothes, I will, I won't have enough space on my closet. I won't have enough space in my closet. Okay. Ahora empezaron en negativos. <laughs> Van a tener que seguir en negativo. <laughs> Okay. It's going to be more difficult, but you can do it. Go. Yes. If I won't have a space in my clothes, I will, but I can change. Um, I will. Yeah, you can change. I will buy other clothes. Okay, okay. You changed it. Very good. Okay. If I buy other clothes, my other clothes, I will, I will, <laughs> I will have um, more outfits to choose, maybe. Okay. If I have more outfits to choose, if I have more, um, Outfits. To shoes. Outfits. Outfits. To shoes. I will. Will be get very fat. Or get uh. Or get sick. Sick. Okay. If I get sick, I will. Take medicines. Mm -hmm. I will. Repeat, please. I will. I will take 
medicine. Take medicine. If, if I take medicine, I will, um, I will be uh, dangerous for my health. It's if I take a lot of medicine, I will get a uh, enfermedad. I forget the sick. word. You can say Se sick sickness. 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 Mm -hmm. sickness, right? Mm -hmm. Sickness. No, lo alcancé a escuchar. I will get sickness. I will get sickness. Sickne sick. Sickness. Ah, sick, de enfermedades, ah, sick. Correcto. En at, en if, I -S -S. if I get a sick sickness, I, I will, I will go to the hospital. Okay. If he, I go to the hospital, mm -hmm. I won't have good healthy. I won't have good healthy. Okay. I use as this won't, right? Won't. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I don't. Have. have have good healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, I will I will be with my family. Good. If I will be with my family, I will I I won't stay with my friends. I said with my friends. I won't. Mm -hmm. If I don't Okay, welcome back. I hope you, you had a chance to practice, okay? Uh, I hope you saw that it was very important, verdad? Manejar estos dos uh, future tenses, going to and will. Very important, right? Y yo les mostré una adicionalmente que es I will be playing. Um, so there's three that you can speak in the future, okay? And después practicamos con el conditional using will to talk about future predictions. Okay, uh, your homework is to finish the platform, finish the exam. La mayoría ya lo hizo. Okay, so congratulations. Um, ¿Qué pueden hacer? Pueden ir a Live Worksheets y buscar algunos de los temas que hemos visto en este, en este módulo eh, y hacer una búsqueda ahí. Solo ponen el tema y les va a salir alguna worksheet. Okay. Um, otra cosa que pueden hacer es, no sé si ya les mandaron el correo para iniciar el proceso de inscripción. ¿Alguien ya? No sé si alguien ya pues, eh, le mandaron esa información. No, teacher. No. Ok. Ok. Uh, so queda, queda pendiente eso. Right? Uh, inscriptions. Ok. All right. Well, very good. Congratulations. Almost finished. Ok. Continue to speak English. Um, vean, vean videos en inglés. Vean Netflix en inglés. Eh, con, sub, con los subtítulos en inglés. Ok. Eh, Different, different applications that you can use. Hay muchas aplicaciones buenas que, por, por ejemplo, Duolingo. Um, pueden usar esa aplicación simplemente como una ayuda extra. Teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. What I recommend to everybody is to watch uh, kids' movies. They uh -huh. speak a clear, clear English. And this is the ah, okay. to learn and, and practice. The, the okay, very good. Lo que dice Eric, you can watch movies, right? Como Disney movies. Hay unas uh -huh. Disney movies All bien bonitas. Right, for example, ahí está el Lion King, el Rey León, but in English, Lion King. You can watch it. It's very nice. Uh, ahora tienen una nueva en, 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 en 3D. 
uh, you can watch some movies like that. Yes, very good, very good tip, Eric. Okay, I'll, uh huh. Y después de esto, ¿qué, se, qué módulo sigue? Perdón. Módulo 2. Uh -huh. Pero en el eh, intermedio, siempre. Siempre, intermedio. Uh -huh. eh, vaya, a través de inglés corporativo está este programa que ustedes están haciendo, pero también está otro programa que se llama English for Work Program, que son dos horas clases cada día, de lunes a viernes, pero ese es otro programa adicional. Eh, Pregunten a la KMX si quieren más información sobre ese. Eh, ahí depende, ¿verdad? El, te el tiempo de cada quien, ya que ese programa es la asistencia a las videoconferencias es mandatorio. Ok, pero continue, continue English, right? All right, very good. I'll see you next, uh, tomorrow. Ok, we have one more class tomorrow. Ok.